delegation was here to study about how the government of India has translated this policy into actions because we heard about the National Food Security Act in place in 2013 and by 2022 they, it seems they have progressed a lot in the, in the implementation. Uh, in, in case of Nepal we are working uh, for the security, food security uh, for a very long time like in the region. Uh, so we have been focusing on the production plan, on the marketing, on income generation, so several initiatives are already there. But despite that, we know the challenges of food security, the nutrition security, it's very critical and with the uh, more um, uh, vulnerability like climate change or any global conflict, whatever, the first uh, hard hit sector is the agriculture sector, the food sector. So uh, for this reason, we have been trying to have a food system approach for, the, uh, for, the, for increasing the production and also to ensure food and nutrition security. Uh, so as part of this, our constitution has or has the provision of, you know, considered uh, food security, the right to food as the fundamental right. So after the promulgation of our constitution, so we have developed this new act on the right to food and food sovereignty act. So this food, uh, this act uh, goes a little beyond than the, you know, the, the, the act that India is implementing. So it's more on the food systems approach. So we also talk about the inputs, how to ensure the farmers access to inputs, uh, how the, the market is ensured and how the farmers uh, and gets the compensation if the technology fails. So all other features are also there, but, but uh, apart from that, this, this uh, distribution of the you know, subsidized and the free food is also part of this, uh, this act, the provision in the act. So since we are developing the you know, regulations, the bylaws for the act, uh, so we, this, we got this opportunity, we requested, you know, with the WFP also, uh, and the government of India to have this uh, delegation so that we know that how how we can translate this act into the uh, into the ground level, uh, so we could observe that what has been the policy at the you know the, at the central level, at the Indian level, and how this is translated at the local level, at the grassroots level, up to the panchayat. So, so that the learnings whatever we re receive from from the from this delegation will be very important for us to to, to provide the feedback to our own uh, the draft regulation that we are working on. It. So basically, uh, the objective has been. With this is there, and I think uh, with this mission, we have received a lot of uh, good uh, takeaway messages uh, for mm -hmm. us, and so uh, I am sure that I mean this will help us to, to move ahead uh, because uh, we see that you know it has progressed quite a lot on in terms of technological aspects. So we have we have always uh, you know received a lot of uh, technical uh, cooperation between the two countries through our national agriculture research systems, uh, through our uh, the counterpart ministries. And, and several other other entities. So I think this is very important. And what we have uh, observed is that uh, so now we we, we just uh, completed our local election uh, in Nepal. Uh, so new uh, new elected representatives are in place now. And similarly, we are having the national election in the next few months. Uh, so again, there will be new government within the for the next five years. So I think uh, they also need to understand that what is happening around in our neighbors because mm. we share very a lot of similarities in terms of our production system, in the population, you know, the culture aspect. So I think the learning between uh, the, the country needs to be continued and also not only at the technical level, but also at the, you know, the political level, at the state level, at state and the local government, they also need to see what is happening around so that they also get the idea, you know, how to transform you know, their, uh, their agriculture system, their production system to ensure the food and nutrition security. So I think uh, this should be the beginning and not the end to, to start a more similar uh, cooperation in between the two. I think oh, I could uh, see that uh, Dr. P here is doing great work, uh, especially in supporting the policy reforms in India. So, but Dr. P Nepal is also uh, slowly uh, moving towards the policy reform aspect because although initially, uh, even now, because in Nepal the context is different, so Dr. P has been still engaged in uh, food distribution, you know, so, and, and also support uh, supporting the warehouse management or the quality. There are many aspects that they are working on, but slowly we need to also intervene in terms of the policy reform. So. We learned a lot of, you know, what WFP is doing here, and probably uh, we can work back home in Nepal with WFP also on some uh, uh, some policy initiatives.